Hey, so this is going to be quick. So as I mentioned in the intro, I forgot that I needed to make this and I like washed my face and put my pajamas on and all that fun stuff. So this is the second video where I've got next to no makeup on. Anyways, um, so let me, I'm just going to walk through it. I'm not actually going to do it because <clears throat> here's my setup. You've seen this many times before. It's my faux double boiler. And I just did a small one this time. Usually I have a bigger pan of water and a bigger ceramic bowl for my like my face cream and my body butter that you've seen me made before, make before. Um, but I don't I didn't make that much this time. So my base, so I'll show you my typical base is um, shea butter and coconut oil. So for this one, because I'm going to use very little at any given time, I used very little of those two products. So it was about a quarter of a cup of shea butter and probably less than that of coconut oil. I didn't, I don't measure, like you guys have heard me say that a thousand times. Um, it may have been equal parts, but that's my typical base. So I melt it down in the double boiler and then I put it in the fridge and since this one was such a small amount it didn't take that time that much time to get to this consistency so melt it down so that both of the components can mix together well and then I don't think I've ever shown what the consistency should be like so this is kind of like a chapstick maybe a little it's not focusing that well but hey Jessica maybe a little bit wetter than a chapstick so all I'm going to do is I've got some tea tree. Um, I'm going to add about 15 drops of tea tree. So I had been, I don't think I can count and talk at the same time, six, seven, at least not on a, the day after 4th of July. I think that was 15. Okay, so tea tree is great for your skin. And then I've also got some thieves, and I'm going to do 15 drops of that. And so I'm going to try and talk at the same time as counting. Um, so I had been using a drop of each of these. Okay, I can't. I'm just going to estimate. I think that was about 15. Okay, and then, so I'll get back to what I was about to say in a minute. So all I'm going to do is beat this. So it's the same process that I use for my face cream and my body butter that I've made before. And I'm just going to beat it to get some air in there and fluff it up. And it'll be that same texture as the face cream and the body butter. Um, a fluffy texture. I'll post a picture in the comments after it's done. And then you'll literally just need like a dime size, maybe a quarter sized amount, um, depending on the area that you're trying to cover. So, um, not to get too intimate, but, um, I just got back to getting some waxing done after my accident and we all know, you know, ingrown hairs. So I had been using one drop of each of these every single, actually twice a day, just with my body butter. So I would just put a little bit of body butter in my hand and I would use one drop of each and it's worked phenomenally. But as I always say, I'm super frugal. So I'm like, I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to make this more diluted cause I don't want to use four drops of these oils every day. So I, um, this is what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that it still works as well. I think it will because every time I make something, um, you know, slightly more diluted, it seems to work for me. So that is my balm post bikini wax. Uh, I would imagine that it would work on like guys, you know, after shaving. Although I would probably dilute it more just to be safe at first because thieves on the skin, I don't know, might be a little spicy. Um, but uh, that's it. You could, and you could use, I'm sure you could use it after bikini shaving as well for the same little bumps that we get so that's it and if you're sorry if you're just hopping on now catch it on the replay super fast I just I, I'm actually not I'm gonna mix it up right now and then I'm gonna have some dessert and go to bed so healthy right dessert before bed so anyways see ya